Hi guys, Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics here. I just wanted to show you something I was doing. I was kind of astounded by how nice it's turning out. Um, this is a uh, face guard for a helmet, football helmet, and it's got a rubber coating on it, okay? So I used some uh, Houston Promotion and some Sem Trim Spray. Uh, it sticks pretty much to anything, uh, plastic and metal. Uh, but that's my my uh, primer. Let's say primer underneath that. This thing was white originally, so that that turned it black. And then I put my base coat on it, one light coat on the whole thing. Okay, and now I'm spraying my Super Chrome on it. I want to see, let you guys see this stuff. It's turning out dynamite. Forgive not having the mask on. I do have the sucking machine on, but. Like I said, the Super Chrome, the X54 is the easiest thing to put on as long as you don't put it on too heavy. There's really no putting it on wrong when you got a nice light coat. You just go back and forth over it until you get that desired shine. You know, some guys like it a little darker. Uh, it's all a matter of preference on how bright you want to see the Chrome. Again, you are going to get a little dieback from the clear. So the brighter, to me, makes more sense. We're not talking about durability here, guys. I mean, this is more or less a uh, it's a project for a kid that really wanted a chrome helmet. Uh, so I'm trying something new. As soon as he racks somebody's face with it, depending on the clear coat that I put on it, that's the only protection it's going to have. Because of the rubber being soft and the absorption, it will stick to it. It will hold up. And we're going to find out how long it does. I mean, it's going to be under the worst possible um, application, but give us a nice idea of how good this stuff is under severe circumstances, okay? And you're going to have you're gonna have to hold it, so that's I got a little piece of wire there. There's gonna be a flat spot in there. There's not much you can do about that. Um, I couldn't think of any other way to hold this thing. Anyway, let me let you take a quick, close look at it. And of course, it's dry to the touch now. Pretty cool, huh? I got my gun set at about a half turn open. The SATA 1.0. Fan is about two thirds of the way open, okay? And my pressure is way too high for this. I got 30, I like 30, 25 to 30, anywhere in there is fine, but here's the secret. When I spray it on, I'm gonna show you right here. I want it to dry like in five to 10 seconds, okay? So let me show you. It's wet. Wet, wet, wet. That was dry already. So that's pretty close to where we're at. Okay, that's pretty much what we want to see. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw that. Let me do it up here. Well, actually, I'll do it up here and you'll see what I'm talking about. Actually, I want to get around the edge here first, real quick on the inside edge. So let me shoot that.
can put a little air on it. Just kind of blow it off a little bit. Okay. That's a football helmet, so we're not talking about a piece of artwork here, okay? Okay, let's throw another one on here. Trying to get me halfway before I come around this way. Okay. Two light coats. See it starting to dry up here. You can see that fuzziness right there. Put a little air on it. And she's ready to touch. Okay. Now I probably want to throw another one just underneath this little edge here. Make sure I got everything. There's going to be the padding and everything inside of it, but you want the edge to roll back inside. When you clear coat it, you want to roll that back inside too. I'll show you guys I'm nice and close. Uh, I don't know if you can see that with that crazy light behind me. quick and easy. I just primed it. Actually, they're ABS. They're not HDPE because I acid tested them, and, or uh, acetone tested them, and it started eating into it. So we just primed it, put a coat of black uh, BESA primer over it, and uh, base coated to that. I didn't cut and buff it. Just sprayed it, shot the chrome over it, and we're good to go. Anyway, this is David Sudami Hydrographics, and we're out.